Suppose I ask you to find the determinant of the following three by three matrix. Right? You have two options. You can either expand it along with ith row or j column. Well, how does it work? So suppose you want to expand it around the first row. In that case, the determinant of A is equal to the sum. J starts from 1, and since it's a 3 by 3 matrix, 3, AIJ, CIJ, and your I is fixed, is going to be 1. A1J, C1J. So let's see. It's going to be the sum of A1 and 1, C1 and 1, plus, let's capitalize this, so you know we're talking about the cofactor plus, a1 and 2, C1 and 2, plus A1 and 3, C1 and 3. So what is A1 and 1? It is 0 times C1 and plus A1 and 2, 2 times C1 and 2, plus A1, 3, the N3, and A1, 3, which is 1, C1, 3. So let us start calculating C1 and 1. C 1 and 1, by definition, is negative 1 to power 2, m1 and 1. So what is m1 and 1 in this case? Here, you need to find the determinant of the matrix by eliminating the first row and the first column. This is going to be the determinant of negative 1, 2, 0, and 1, which is negative. So you, so far, you have 0 times negative 1 plus 2 times c of 1 and 2. By definition, c of 1 and 2 is equal to negative 1 to power 3, m of 1 and 2. m of 1 and 2, the very first row and the second column, the first row and second column. You end up with this matrix, c1 and 2 is equal to negative 1 to power 3. Here, you are eliminating these two. This guy and... Let me grab another marker. And with this guy. So you're eliminating these two. The first row and second column. So what's left? You have three, negative four, two, and one. So this guy is equal to negative one times three plus eight or negative 11. So two times negative 11. Very good. And now plus one times C, one and three. This is negative one to power four. Find the determinant. So you're getting rid of the first row and now the last column. What's left? Left with the determinant of matrix three, negative one, negative four and zero. So C of 1 and 3 is equal to negative 1 to the power 4, which is just 1. And then you have 3 times 0, which is 0 minus 4, negative 4. So the determinant of this matrix is equal to 0 minus 22 minus 4, which is negative 26. Well, you might be interested in expanding along a column. Why not? So you're going to use OR. Sometimes it's easier to actually follow the expansion along column. So easiest. You need to look for the easiest one. So I'm going to erase this guy and start expanding along. For example, for simplicity, let us use, I don't know, the very first column. First column. Let's see what happens. By definition, the determinant of A is equal to the sum. I starts from 1 to 3. A, I, and 1. C, I, and Y. So the determinant is equal to A, 1, and 1. C, 1, and 1, plus A, 2, and 1. C, 2, and 1, plus A, 3, and 1. C, 3, and 1. Okay. A, 1, and 1 is equal to 0, 
times C1 and 1 plus A1 and A2 and 1. Here you have 3 times C2 and 1 plus A3 and 1 is negative 4 C3 and 1. So now we need to calculate each one of these separately. What is C1 and 1? By definition, negative 1 to power 2. M1 and 1. So again, what are we doing? We are eliminating the first row and the first column. Right, here we go. This guy becomes C1 and 1, negative 1 to power 2, which is 1, the determinant of this little 2 by 2 matrix, which is negative 1. So, so far you have 0 times negative 1 plus 3 times, well, C2 and 1, negative 1 to power 3, 2 and 1, right? So here, let me see if I have something a little bit. More narrow. C2. And one. Two and one. You're eliminating these guys. Seems like it's not working very well. Let's bear with me. Two and one. So you end up with this matrix. Two, one, zero, one, which is negative one times two, which is negative two. Plus negative four times C of three and one. So now we're eliminating the third row. And the very first column. So you end up with this matrix, negative one to power four times the determinant of this matrix. So this guy becomes one times four minus minus one plus one or five. So this guy is zero minus six minus 20, which just gives you negative 26. As you can see, the determinant is the same. 